we do we do prefer to use the unleaded gas, although we can operate on the 100 LL. Uh, when operating on unleaded gas, we get a lot of questions about alcohol. Everybody's telling us, well, you know, I've got 10% alcohol in my state, I've got to use the uh, fuel with alcohol. Rotax has officially approved up to 5% alcohol in the gasoline, and that is uh, partially because Europe, they use 5% alcohol in the fuel there, and they've had uh, good results. Here in the U.S., many of the states are going to 10 percent. Uh, we haven't seen any operational problems with the alcohol at 10 percent. Uh, what we find is uh, that the fuel tanks and the fuel lines are, are the biggest concern. If you're going to operate with, uh, with uh, 10 percent alcohol in your gasoline, you do want to consider vapor lock as one of the uh, possibilities and that is most likely to occur at altitudes over 10,000 feet. Uh, I, I've noticed uh, that some aircraft don't use the Rotax recommended return system. What Rotax has done to help prevent vapor lock in the case of an uh, uh, aircraft using auto gas is they have a really neat little return system which uh, returns some of the fuel right at the carburetor back to the fuel tank. And that keeps the fuel streaming. If you develop any air bubbles in the system, it allows them to exit the system quickly and just go back into the tank, and it keeps the fuel cool. If you have that system on board your, air, your aircraft, then that also is going to dramatically reduce the chances of, of vapor lock. But as I said earlier, in most cases, you just don't see any issues. If your car will run on it, these engines run on it just fine. As a matter of fact, in Brazil, they're running on uh, 22 to 25% alcohol with stock jetting and they're not having any issues there. <clears throat>